ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Hey there, everyone. This is Sal Galvanes from Mario Galaxy, and uh, we're almost done with the watering world. However, we do have an oh, all right. An, <laughs> we do have an hungry boy waiting for us outside, and I think that's what I wanted. Like. I mean, we're probably still gonna go once we're done, but I don't know. Like, I feel like I've had both experiences with Orphan Galaxies. Like, sometimes they're pretty rough, and they kind of take a lot of attention. And others have been pretty short and simple. There is no laws uh, governing that. So, let's just check that out real quick. So, that could have taken the other warp there, but that's fine. That is absolutely okay. Alright, buddy! I'm here to give you food. Hopefully I have enough. Oh my God. I do have, but I hope I have enough. Uh, last time was like a thousand and two hundred. Uh, okay, you're just a thousand, so maybe like a, a less demanding amount, so maybe it'll be less difficult than whatever it was. Last time was bone thin. That was pretty wild. All right, well, he's stuffed. He's big. He's a big tomato person. And now he is uh, the universe. Well, it counts. So, an infinitely small sand. This better be a better sand place than Dusty Dune. Well, we'll see. Look at that whole galaxy, there's one interesting part, and it's the choosing a favorite snack part. Sand Spiral Galaxy. Choosing a favorite snack. See, my vibe for that would have been Yoshi related, but clearly this is not. Is this gonna be a power-up zone? It's a wizard. It's right there zone. And he's attacking me. Yeah, we got like part of a ship. Alright, get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get a, a refund for the thousands of looms that cost me to get here. Big chunk of wood. Yeah, this level was made by Timberheart. Alright, wizard. Like, I would love to zap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I can choose to be either a bug or a ghost, and I guess I made my choice. I am the best. So yeah, like in one on the one hand, you need you like can fly more. You don't have a meter, but you have to dodge the um, the light. This this is really just like control. Just find some fine control. Whoa, I just, like, tossed you, and now you're inside the wall. That's very odd. Well, oh, but here, I need to, like, dodge the bubble, which is pretty easy, because, like, it's not like they turn or anything. All right, am I over? I am over this bridge. Got it. This is really neat. Bats are flying at me. Oh, no! I'm going to run away! And you can't stop me. That's an invincibility, isn't it? We are. Oh, this is orbiting this very bright moon. Oh, it's the moonlight. Naturally. Alright, what is happening here? You're making me invincible. Like, what's my goal? Right, can I break these? Do I want to break these? I think I'm just running in circle. I'm just doing the circuit. Alright, I can do that and I can miss. I can absolutely miss. And you know what? I will. I say, describing the past. Yeah, I thought it would bring me right back here. So, what did I- Whoa, shoot! So, I think you need the star, because the star is what gives you the speed to be able to run against the current. Because, yeah, you need to run against the movement. Well, no, you run with it. You run in this direction, which is the direction that it's moving. Thus making me run that much faster. So there's a possibility that the spike balls are actually still obstacles. They are not. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This is scary though. Yeah, this part. What? Wait, why? Why? Why did that fail? What did I do that caused a failure there? So spinning doesn't like it. I think spinning cut my speed. And I ended up matching the speed of the layer two rather than going further forward. All right, good to know. Yeah, this is pretty scary. All right, so we go here, we go here, we gotta do a leap, we gotta do another leap. We gotta keep leaping. And like the angle's kind of weird, and I don't have my correctional tool, you know, the spin. 
So, whoa, whoa, all right. And here we go. All right. That was rad. That was rad. Learning on the spot a little bit. You know, it's pretty scary, but you know what? You just do it. You learn. As long as when you die, it's okay to die. As long as you learn. And that's what I did. And we got 21 stars left. Ooh, we are going to get to at least uh, star 100 today. I will save my game. Thank you for asking. And uh, yeah, we're going to slip right into the slipstream waterfall zone. And we are going to feed another hungry guy and see what that leads us. Alrighty, um, I know it's a silver star, but I mean, it doesn't matter, the game will tell me without any hesitation, there's gonna be a big question mark and a thought balloon, well not a thought, not a thought balloon, it's like a speech bubble, right? Yeah, it's like an, yeah, it's a speech bubble, there's no thought, there is only speaking. Alright, and silver star is like, really like, low pressure kind of level, um, so get looms find out how many i need and then get how many i need and then see what happens that's the gist of it doesn't really get more complicated than that are there looms on the water does it matter i'll grab you silver star but that's not why i'm here for all right Hope you understand that. Hey, little guy on the dolmen. I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. Oh yeah, I think you, th you think you saw a silver star there, right where the camera's showing. So yeah, I lose my ability to spin if I'm not a, if I'm a B. I want to get Ds because yeah, I got barely any already by now. So I'm gonna grab what I can here, making everything fly at me from across the nation. But, uh, yeah, those are all the local lums. Anything? Okay, there are some in the bushes. Like, as of now, they've always been fairly straightforward numbers. Like, nice round numbers. Lots of zeros. Uh, I do. Yeah, but how much is a bunch? Because I just fed a thousand to one. You need 40. I don't think I have 40 right now. It'll tell me, right? I, I'm three down. All right. BRB, little buddy. Hey, look at that. Da, da, da. That's 40. Didn't even need to go real far. Cannons are a lot of fun. You are correct. All right, yeah, let's get fed. Here we go. I don't think you can miss. I mean, I guess you could if you were not careful and very clumsy. But I am not careful and very clumsy, so it could happen. I don't want to risk it. All right, and you're just going right in that black hole, huh? Oh, hey, I've done a thing like that before. This world is strange. So silver and purple coins are essentially the same, and most of the normal stars are like three laps. Whoops, press the wrong button. Three laps and um, sort of the same thing. And here we get a repeat of that. Well, I th I'm assuming it's a repeat of that. It's like. Get all the blocks, oh yeah. See, get all the blocks, get all the music. All right, well, so I'm just kind of going for now. I don't really have a plan. And I think I've, oh boy. And I'm not making this easy for me. All right, well, let's, I cannot go there. Uh, okay, so I might have messed up. I, I have to be okay with that. Maybe there's a way to salvage it. Therein lies my only hope. Hope. Hope is my only hope. Okay, well, I mean, I'm getting notes, and panels are getting dissolved. Oh, I missed that one, but... That is not fine! Funny part is I might get over. Like, I feel like the smart thing to do might be to get a 1-up somewhere. But clearly I'm not doing that. <laughs> Alright, so... What's the lesson here? I don't know. Well, don't miss a note. So as to... See there. I touched a panel. 
and I missed a note. Now I've made this literally impossible, and then I completely screwed up my long jump as an additional bonus. Well, at least it'll let me save. Do you think it saved a loom being fed? This is the game making fun of me, but honestly, go ahead and make fun of me. I'm not seeing the playful guy, so... I think that it did save me feeding him, which means I'm getting a pretty nice profit that I otherwise wouldn't have. No, that is not what I'm doing on purpose. But it's just what's happening. Alright, so it turns out, returning here, yeah, a tiny little hassle. Barely noticeable. Alright, so yeah, my... what's... Jeez, that was... that is kind of the worst possible start. Alright, so, what keeps happening is I end up clumsily, you know? I feel like there's a bit of a, a subject pattern here. But clumsily touching a panel? without claiming the note that, you know, stands in front of it. And that is what leading me to like these little panic moments where it's like, oh no, shoot, what am I doing now? And uh, that's what I need to avoid at all costs. And I just put myself kind of in a corner here, but you know, there's a way around it. Here we go. Look at that, this is really neat. All right, so. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going here now. Alright, I kind of had to skip the line a little bit. Here we go, yeah, here we... And I did it, look at that. I died and became one with uh, the event horizon. But then things got better. I just came back, follow that line. Just follow that line and just be careful. It's all about not being clumsy. It sounds ridiculous, it sounds silly. But that's all there is to it. This is going to be it for today, I think. Might be a little bit on the shorter end. Hurry, he's hungry. Well, I did. I did hurry him. But 100 is a nice number. And also, again, it's like I'm just looking at the time that I've played. And um, I feel like at this point in time, I'll start... Like, I'm be basically exploring a new world. Those tend to be longer. We're just gonna take the hundo. Mario, stop staring. It's like you've never been in an engineering room before. Well, it would be like space, crazy, future, impossible engineering. So no, okay. I can see him being very enticed. 